Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. You might see my face throughout this video, but chances are you won't. But we are playing Scenario 2 in the starter booklet, and that is Half Eagle Day. So, as you can see, the board is set up. It's basically a crossroads. We got 12 inch wide going across the middle, section in, in the middle. The judges will start in the middle, and the gangers are going to try and pop them. So, we are going to go over the forces right now. Up on the left there, we have Judge Siler. He is a senior street judge with Lawgiver Mark II Day Stick and a Boot Knife. And next to him is Judge Juch, a rookie judge with the Lawgiver Mark II Day Stick and Boot Knife. They also get, as their armory cards, they get High X, Seeker, Med Pack, along with Big Meg cards, Sixth Sense, One Hell of a Shot, and Rapid Fire. Then on the other side of the forces, we have the Blood Pack, starting with the Gang Heavy, which is going to represent Lieutenant Erlock, armed with a combat rifle. Next to him, we have Earl. She's armed with Sawn Off a Stump Gun. Next to her, we have Diego. He's armed with a Spit Pistol. Then we have Gara, who is Earl's brother. He has two pistols. And then we round off the group, the Auto Stump Gun. And I have not given this character a name yet. So if you, this will be the unnamed punk. Uh, if you have a name for this character, drop me a comment below and I will add it to my list. They're the two forces. The Blood Pack are armed with Concealed Culinary Laser, Stims, Incendiary, and then they have the Big Mech cards, Go Go Go, The Luck of Jovis, and Crazy. And then they will be setting up an ambush, but we'll be going over that in a minute. The Blood Packers have Concealed Culinary Laser, as I mentioned. Gives a model plus one fight, minus one to the target's resist in close combat. They have Stims, which adds plus one fight and plus one resist to a model until they are injured or stunned. And then finally, they have Incendiary, which lets them throw a bomb. We also have the Luck of Jovis. Once you're in your mo next model's activation, re-roll any combat dice they just rolled. Go, go, go. Take D3 of your action chips from the table and place them back in the bag. And crazy, one friendly model may take an immediate charge action. Rulers may reroll any misses during that attack. That's pretty good. Whilst the judges, on the other hand, have high X, which allows them to shoot an explosive. Med pack to remove all injury or stun markers from one model. You've got to use it with a hunker down or seeker. Add plus eight to long range and ignore range modifiers. No line of sight required, but it does have to be used with aimed fire. They also have sixth sense. Play as a reaction for a friendly model chosen as a target of a shot. A friendly model may turn to face the shot and fire a snapshot in return, just as if they had the gunfighter skill. Then we have one hell of a shot. One model may immediately take an aimed fire action, ignoring penalties for long range. Gunfighters may also reroll misses. And rapid fire, the next time a friendly model takes two snapshot actions, it gets a third for free. So, Blood Pack are very close combat y, and the judges are very shooty. Now, where possible, I am going to try and stay out of the camera, but I am over here. My table is not the biggest table ever. So I'm having to wedge stuff where I see fit. So the encounter terrain is all set up. As you can see, we've got the crossroads as mentioned. And ultimately this mission follows on from Sugar Rush. But Sila managed to take down some of the Sugar Rush boys. Now they are seeking revenge. They have heard from an inside informant there is a little rookie on the streets today. And this is the poor rookie. They are going to be ambushing, so let's get into the setup. Justice Department player deploys their judges within six inches of the center of the table. High rollers deploy three of their models anywhere that is more than nine inches from the model. Six inches, so you put judge, the, uh, the rookie judge will be over there. Main judge will be over here. They're just wondering why there's so much garbage around on the streets today. Then I have to pick three of my gangers to set up on the table now. I think we'll take the two pistolers off. They'll leave us with three shooters. I want to put him in cover, the main guy. He probably can't see the rookie from there. And you can't see him either because he's at the top. See if we can move the camera in. There we go. 
So that is my combat rifle guy. Then it's all about the senior street judge. He is going to be a pain. He's probably going to be able to take down most people on their own. What I'm going to do, step one up down here where you can't see her at all. She's just in the corner. And the other one. Gotta be careful because he can take on most people on his own. They're a bit more safe. Let's go over here. We'll have the hopes maybe that we can run around and get the rookie. Right, I think I am ready to go. So, got my reference sheet. It's been a while since I played. I do apologize if I get any rules wrong. Two gold chips will be the judges. One of them has a star on for the senior judge Sila. And then five blood pack chips are going in there. Got my dice, got my tokens. I think we are ready to go. Right, first token out of the bin. Blood pack. Let's go go with the heavy. He's got perfect game on him. He's gonna use his combat rifle. Short range 12 inch. So Judge Sila is out of range. Uh, I could do aimed fire and get a bonus or snapshot twice. Probably gonna snapshot twice, but while that's happening, we'll play Sixth Sense. He sensed that he's about to get shot, turns around to face the heavy, and opens fire with his uh, lawgiver. So, senior judge is gonna ping him early, hopefully. Shoot of four. We are definitely not a short range so it's a minus one looking for hits scored one hit now we see if the heavy can dodge so a heavy has this is probably not a good thing for this guy a dodge of two looking for a 2000 ad he gets it he dodged no harm no fail Right, the heavy will continue his shot. So he's no longer shooting in the judge's back, but he does have, I've lost his stat card. There it is, he has a shooter free. So we're looking for hit. He scores two hits. The senior judge adds an evade of three. If he rolls a 2080, he gets the snap shoot again. Because he has the gunfight skill. And he doesn't, oh, that's a terrible roll. So we now move on to power. The combat rifle's power is power three. So looking for hits again. Oh, it's the big three. This is not looking good straight away. Uh, Judge Siler, he has a defense of four. We need four shields, I do believe. This could really hurt. So looking for shields. Two shields. So only one went through, luckily. Meaning poor Judge Sila is already injured. Blah. Oh, early rough start there. Judge Sila just in the open. I was a bit too cocky. That was only round one. He'll shoot again. Heavy, long range, no modifiers. Shooting free. Scores just the one hit this time. Judge Sila will try to evade. This time he's down to two because of his injury. Looking for a 2000 AD, he's got it. He took no damage. He's now going to use his gunfighter skill to shoot back. So he's shooting at long range. Minus one. He scored a hit. Now the heavy's got to try and dodge. Heavy is on two. And fails. Judge Silas hit his man, he's hit his man. Lawgiver on basic ammo is powerful. Looking for hits, he only got two. Now the heavy is in light cover, so he's gonna get a little bonus. So he's got three defense already, plus one for being in light cover. Looking for at least two shields, he's got two shields. Meaning we are left at zero damage. That's still something, isn't it? Stunned. So Judge, Judge Siler did manage to stun the blood packer. He is stunned. Whoa. That is the first chip. Wow, that was a turn and a half. Right. Oh, it's blood pack again. 
This is not looking good. Seeing an opportunity, the punk down here, she's going to run up with her little sawn off stump gun. So first move is going to be six inch move. She's going to get comfortably to there. Then her second activation is going to be to use the sawn off stump gun. She is at short range. Gives her a plus two modifier. Ooh, nice. Uh, we'll assume it's she's two handed because it's the only weapon she's got. So it's plus two modifier. Judge Silo could be in trouble here. So Punk has two plus two for her modifier. Looking for hits. And he scored two hits. The judge still gets to evade. Instead of having his usual three, he's down to two because he's injured, looking for a 2000 AD. He scores two hits. That's not good. Not good at all. The weapon is a power four with knockback. So we do the knockback first. Judge Siler is going to go D6 inches away from her. Five inches. Oh, <laughs> puts him closer to the other one. This is not looking good for the poor, poor judge. And power four. Two hits. Now, Sila has armor four, but he's got an injury. So we're looking for freeze. Three dice. He's only got one shield. Another injury. This seems to be working for them. I think the blood pack are. Uh, Dominating here, if they take this guy down. All rookie judges. Oh my god. Blood pack again. I think it's time to do. Time to take him out, I think. Now, the other model has an auto stump. Knockback. May fire two snapshots. Power four at short range, power two at long range. So, question is is she at a short range now that he got moved back? He is. Oh, nice. So, short range, 10 inch. She is not going to move then for this first one. She gets plus two modifier, plus she's a heavy. So, three shots, plus two for being at short range. Looking for hits. Of course, lots and lots of hits. Sila will have a single dice to try and evade. And fails. So, he's got knocked back again, five inches again. Now, the angle of the shot is coming from this way. So he gets bounced into the flower pot. He is in trouble, everyone. Let's just, uh, let's be clear about this. So, power four at close range. Scores two hits. He is down to armor two. This is not going to be good for him, is it? Looking for two shields, he got one and a 2000 AD. So that's put him down to one. He's took another injury. He is just getting blasted. Three injuries now on him. He's got, he's only got two health left. He is not in good shape. That was her first round of shooting. Now the second round, we could either stay put or go long range, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be a long range. I think we're safe for doing long range. Minus one to hit. So, Rolling two, she scores the hit. This time, he doesn't have evade anymore. It's, his evade is currently at zero because of all these injuries. He took a beating. This is not good. But plus side is, it's only power two this time. So looking for that hit symbol. Got one, got one. He's got armor of one now, so he really needs the shield. He got it, but doesn't mean he is stunned. He has taken some hits this turn, and that is the end of their turn. Any more blood pack tokens will be gonna be <laughs> the reinforcements coming in. See what we get. Finally, it's the rookie judge. She's gonna use aimed fire from her position. Take a shot at him using seeker. So let's see how this goes. Rookie Street Judge, she has three as her shot. 
looking for hits. She got two. The heavy is going to try and evade on a, with his two. And he fails. That's a great start. The lawgiver has a power four. Looking for hit. Oh, four hit. The heavy is going to be in trouble. He does have armor free plus light cover. So he's got four dice. Let's see how many shields he gets. None. Oh, the rookie may have just pinged this dude from absolute cover. Four injury. What is that result? Target is grievously injured. Nice free injury target. Free injury markers on the target. Ooh, that sucks. That's so bad. <laughs> uh, he has a cooler free, so she's just took him out. Down he goes. He is dead. Yeah, we'll just leave him like that. They've taken him there. The judge having took heavy fire. He's like, get out of here. You gotta go. She is gonna creep her way around. Gonna try and get her out of it. So she's gonna creep around here. And hope for the best. All right, next token. Oh, it's a blood pack. That is not good, not good at all. So this is gonna be a reinforcement coming on. So it says, when a model that isn't on the table activated, it must take a move action to move on from any table edge as its first action. So I'm gonna go, ooh, ooh. What are we doing? Two pistols is a heavy. I think the heavy's gonna have to come on. And he is gonna come on right here. Clean line of sight. Maybe a bit more over here. And he's gonna snapshot with his pistols into a poor little friend. Now he is dual wielding. Okay, so pistol 18, eight inch range, which he is in comfortable. So, oh, gets a lot here. There's gonna be a lot here. So he's a heavy. He starts off with three. A close range of a pistol for one, plus using an additional pistol for one. So he's rolling five dice to hit. And unsurprisingly, he gets a few hits. Can Rookie Judge evade? This is the question. Rookie Judge is going to try and dodge on a one. And fails. Ugh. Then, Pistol is power free. Only the one. And the rookie judge's armor, armor free. Minus one for being in her back arc. She fails, so she's took an injury as well. The judges are having a rough time here. So that is the end of his turn. There's two chips left in the pot. For what has been an eventful turn one. All my days. The blood pack chip again. I'm going to pretty much do the same thing. Comes on, he's going to use his spit pistol, 8 inch plus 2 modifier. This guy is only a punk. He's rolling 4 dice though. Looking for hits. And whiffs it. Just like sprays and praise. That is crazy. Uh. We're also going to play Go 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 for the Blood Packers, which allows them to put the free action chips back into the tub. And you get to put one and put her in. Oof. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we'll also play Lucka Jovis, meaning that the next Blood Packer gets to re roll their combat dice. That could be the opportunity they need. All right. Ooh, where's the tokens? Oh my god. I'm pulling terribly for these judges. Right, she is just in a perfect position. She's got 10 inch range. So we're definitely going to be in range up here. Here, <laughs> the veteran judge is going down here. Yep, this is not looking good. Plus two modifier. Get to re roll any combat dice. Pretty sure I'm using this right, but anyway, two plus two, looking for hits. 
scores two hits. He has no evade, so he's going to suffer from a knockback. Big six. He is now up here. He is getting battered by shotguns. It is power four. Remember, I can re-roll any of these. Which is quite helpful, because three of them were pretty bad. There we go, got it up to two. Now, Senior Judge, he does have Fortitude, which I've been forgetting. Means he ignores one of those injury markers. But he does have a stun, so oof, gonna lose his armor four. Gonna lose three. So he's got one armor. He's looking for a shield. He got the shield. How on earth is he still standing? He's now got four wounds on him, plus a stun. If my math is correct, he goes down. He is stunned or subdued. So like that, the veteran judge is down now. Rookie judge could bring him back. But it's gonna be a hard fight. She's in the middle of it all. Last chip out is obviously his. Don't know what to do. Now in theory, she's just in trouble, isn't she? Gonna have to run her off the board if she can survive. So chips go back, apart from the two damaged ones. The poor rookie judge is in trouble. There's no way around this one. I do have some stuff that I could do. Got one hell of a shot. Got rapid fire. I do have a med pack, but it involves getting to him and then hunkering down, if I'm reading that rule correctly. Don't know if she can perform it on someone else. There is hunker down. Yeah, he is just in the open. He got blasted the bit. She is not going to be able to help him. So if I pull her chip, I am just legging it off the board which will still count as a win. There we go. Where was that last turn? So, <laughs> rookie judge. She is just gonna double six it off the board. There we go. She, <laughs> she successfully escapes. Ow, that was painful. All right, let's just check that I've met the, uh, the results that we needed to finish the game there. So objective, I can claim victory if both judges are incapacitated or subdued. The justice department claim victory if they prevent this. She got off the table, they prevented it. So it's technically a loss for the blood pack, but they did hospitalize poor senior judge Sila, which is not great at all, not great at all. Anyway, I'll clean up, I'll do a little after report. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in a minute with the after report. So there you have it. Mission 2 done. That was the Half Eagle Day. Scenario 2 from the get start. That leaves us only with Sweet Justice to go. Which is going to be a fun one to play. It's like uh, attacking the base. It's attacking the Blood Packers base. But what a game. It's been too long. It's been nearly all summer since I last played a game. I should have played a lot sooner than this. That's my bad. Shame on me. Uh, some after action reports then. So yes, I made some mistakes, forgetting that the senior judge has fortitude. That probably led to him dying a little bit quicker. I think he was in trouble anyway. There wasn't much I could do. I wasn't going to save that guy for the love nor money. He was going down at some point. And then I kind of balanced it out with the little rookie judge being able to run off the board a little bit quicker because she got an extra move out of my mistakes there's a lot of rules to try and remember on your own i do struggle but time for some real after action reports so i keep saying so a lot i'm saying it a lot it's annoying me just so you know and i know it's annoying me um two models went down judge Sila and orlock the lieutenant of the blood pack now for my campaigns i am using the necromunda injury charts to give me a rough idea of what i want to happen to them now comically uh, orlock got a 13 and sila got a 14 and that's the same result so they both were knocked out the way i view it is the rookie judge ran off blood pack has checked on orlock 
found out that he was just KO'd and dragged him off to freedom. And by the time the judges responded to Sila being down, he was patched up and was back on the streets within a week or two. Rapid Hill does some great work for you. So overall, no long-term injuries for either of them that I have to think about. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And I'll catch you very soon. As always, cheers for watching.